removed the motor from that board that it was mounted on. I've actually taken the screws out of here, but we'll come back to that soon. So this had, it was mounted to the board with these rusty old carriage bolts and square nuts and the carriage bolts weren't actually engaging with anything. So, I mean, a carriage bolt that doesn't engage with anything is worthless. I have to figure out some new hardware there. But I actually wanted to take a look at this switch. I don't like having to reach in here to grab this switch when I have a belt, you know, just right next to my hand. Um, I'm going to move the switch. I mean, I like the, the vintage feel of this, but the, it's not worth the hazard. So I've already taken off the screws here. And I took off a couple of screws in here as well. There's some pretty ugly looking wiring here. I mean, it's just crumbling. This is not safe. So, as cool as the vintage cord is, I'm actually going to be replacing it with something a little bit more modern and safer. On the other side, things seem in better shape. So I think I can still, you know, use the wires that are actually leading into the motor. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll just connect these to something else. And I'm going to put a switch externally, somewhere else, mounted on the, the bench. And then just run the cable into here to connect to these wires. But it's quite likely the original switch. The next day I have removed the old crumbling braided cable, the power switch of death. And you can see I have just wired up a new cord in here. Don't worry, this is properly, you know, soldered and heat shrink, but I wrapped it up in electrical tape for good measure. Um, now it's grounded, it wasn't grounded before. So I will just not put the switch on here anymore. Just put that cover back on. And then this will plug into this thing. When I got my table, my old craftsman table saw used, the, the person gave me an extra one of these for some reason. Um, but that's perfect, you know, I've got this nice switch that I can mount on the front of the lathe. Plug this right in there. Plug this into the wall. And then I can mount that thing somewhere around here. I'll find a nice convenient spot for it. Extended the holes on the motor mount plate. Uh, I just needed, you know, a, a little bit more, a few more centimeters. And it was funny when I when I started cutting into this, I, I suddenly thought, oh, what is that great smell? This must be cedar. Got some new hardware, no more of those Colt carriage bolts. So, bam, there it is. I can just hit the switch. That's a whole lot better. Of course, this whole thing might just end up being a bit of a waste of time. Since the day I got this thing, I've been thinking about a variable speed motor. The lowest speed this offers with this current pulley setup is about, what, like 900 RPM, which is a bit faster than I want, because, you know, if I'm doing something like a bowl, I'm gonna want something a bit slower. And so I'm gonna use this for a little while just to, just to try it.